Bonjour. A woman on bags is more than just a bag. This is also a powerful fashion statement that can transform your style. When choosing and styling an handbag, it is essential to consider style and function and also avoid fashion faux pas. In this video, I will show you the 10 handbag styling rules everyone should learn once and for all. How to choose the perfect bag, the correct size and the perfect style. How to wear an handbag every day. How to match your handbag with your outfit. In this video, you will know everything about handbag styling rules. The first handbag styling rules you should absolutely know is to find the right bag for the right occasion. You should know that different occasions need a different style bag. And there is a rule, smaller bags make you more sophisticated, more elevated. And you should reserve the bigger bag, the tote bag, for example, or your brief suitcase for work or for an everyday basis. That's why you should absolutely wear a clutch for formal occasion, for after party, after work event, for example, social network event, or even at a restaurant for a rendezvous, don't wear your tote bag or your big bag. This is really a fashion faux pas. If you remember one of the episodes of Succession, this quite luxury series, you will remember that one of the characters is coming to a social event, a cocktail with a big work tote bag. Put aside the fact that the bag is a little bit tacky because of the big logo, the big handbag styling mistake in this case is the fact that she's bringing a tote bag, a work bag for a cocktail event. So for a cocktail event, for a very social after work event, the rule is really to bring a clutch. Let's get also a full knowledge of choosing the perfect and the correct bag according to the different occasions. For example, while going on shopping, groceries, errands on an everyday basis, you can wear an obo or a duffel bag or even a tote bag is just perfect for a more formal occasion, for example, for work, for meeting, business meeting. Definitely choose a big tote bag or even a brief suitcase is just perfect. Personally, I have different type of bags. I have my rectangular shoulder crossbody bag with this quite luxury look that I love to wear on an everyday basis. I have my tote bag for groceries and I have also my special business meeting or even work bag. And I can also transform this one for a more elevated, sophisticated look. I can wear this one as a clutch. And of course, last for party, occasion, social, cocktail, network, event, after work party, don't wear your big tote bag, don't bring your big bag. You should wear a clutch, a mini bag, an envelope bag, or even a small wallet. Another styling on bag rule you should know is about the color. Which color should you choose to find the perfect on bag? You probably know that the rule is to stick to a maximum of three different colors in your outfit, including your shoes and your bag. Any more than that, you might run the risk of looking a little bit mismatch or over accessorized. And there are different ways to play with colors with your bag, for example, with a monochromatic outfit. You can wear another bag color, for example, black. Personally, I love to go for the monochromatic camel outfit. And I love to wear this bold black bag. It really adds something very interesting and it really contrasts with the rest of my outfit. My tips, if your outfit is a little bit very buzzy, very colorful, original, stick to a neutral bag like black, brown, or even gray. This allows your outfit to take the center stage and add a touch of elegance to your look with an understated bag. In contrast, if you are wearing a more neutral color outfit, you can choose a bag in a bolder color or pattern. The way I really love to make my own bag the statement of my outfit. So if I go to monochromatic, neutral, soft tones, I love to bring something a little bit more bold or even contrasting with a bold 
color. And if I wear something super colorful in my outfit, pink, gray, not even white, I love to stick with something very soft, very neutral, and I will say a basic tone. The way to play safe and to never go wrong is always to go to earthy tones, so very neutral tones. For example, camel, brown, gray goes with pretty much everything. Another way to play safe is also to go for black or nude color on bag. A black bag is a classic and timeless choice. It's rich, colorful, but at the same time, it contrasts against over colors in different outfits. This is really an easy match for various outfits. Another on bag styling rules you should absolutely know is to wear and style your on bag according to your body type. You know that an on bag can really change your silhouette and as just as easily as any over clothing item depending on the back shape, the size and where it falls on your body. If you want to add volume for example, choose a wide and detailed on bag and doing the opposite when you want to slim down, you should choose, for example, a baguette or a clutch or even any smaller bag can really slim you down. Curly women should avoid round bags that are slouchier and instead go for bags that are lay flatter to the body. Don't forget that the goal is really to complement your silhouette to look taller and slimmer. This is really the goal. And the good news is if you know your body type, you should follow these following rules. For example, if you have a rectangular, straight or even square body type, meaning that your shoulder, waist, hips are all the same wide, you need to create the illusion of curves. So you should wear clutches, slushy, obo, any bigger bag with volume, a little bit oversized or a big tote bag can really help you to create this illusion of volume. If you have an apple body type, meaning that your waist is the widest part of your body, the goal is to create the illusion of a smaller waist. You should wear a structured boxy bag with short handles. If you are a peer body type and the goal is really to de-emphasize the hips and tights, focus on the upper half of your body. Two types of bags that really complement your silhouette, the bag with longer straps and also belt bags across the body are just perfect. They really emphasize your silhouette and your waist. Another on bag styling rule you should absolutely know, and this one is very important, is to know how to match your bag with your outfit. You will be surprised, but there are different ways to match your bag with your outfit, and there are absolutely no rules, to be honest with you. The good news is you don't need to wear the exact same color. You don't need to match exactly your bag with your outfit, meaning that if you wear some pink or green color, you should absolutely wear a bag that is green or pink. And to be honest with you, I think the rule to really match exactly the same color your outfit with your bag is a little bit outdated. You don't need to wear the exact same color between your bag and your outfit, but you need to coordinate your outfit with your bag, meaning that you need to wear similar colors or colors that really match together. So not the exact same one, but the same family of colors. For example, if you wear red or blue, you can go for something a little bit purple or even a deep blue will be great. The safest choice is really to find a, a similar tone or the same color family, it will be perfect. Another way to match your outfit with your bag is to find a contrasting color. So this is doing the opposite. Find a color that pair well together, but they are completely different or they contrast. And if you don't want to overthink about how to match your bag with your outfit, the safest choice is always to find a color that pairs well with pretty much every outfit. And black or white are just the perfect color. Usually, I love to wear, for example, my Chanel classic flap bag in black. And I love to wear this bag all season and with all different outfits and all different colors. Another rule will be to match your handbag with your shoes. It really makes an outfit more cohesive and allows you to build up 
accessorize in a specific color, making also your outfit more interesting. The next on bag styling rule you should absolutely know is how to wear your everyday handbag correctly. The first thing you should absolutely know is to choose the right bag according to your personal style and according also of what you are going to do during the day. Before you start your day, when you just completely dress up and you just have to find the perfect handbag for your day, it is important to choose a bag that suits your needs according of what you are going to do today. And it is the on-bag styling mistake I used to do when I was younger. I used to focus really more on styling and aesthetic of the bag instead of focusing on functionality. And now I try to balance between the functionality and the aesthetic of the bag. And when I go to the groceries, I already know that I need a bigger bag just in case of, you know, I will need to carry this extra stuff. And if I go to, for example, the hairdresser or a rendezvous, Usually, I already know that I don't need a big tote bag, so I go for a smaller clutch or even a small wallet. It's just perfect. But yes, you need to find the bag that will fit your needs and what you are going to do during the day. Another on bag also styling mistake I see a lot is about the straps. You should be able to adjust the strap perfectly to wear your bag correctly. The strap of a shoulder bag should be adjusted to the right length for comfortable carrying. If the strap is too long, the bag might hang low on your hips and it might be very uncomfortable. On the other hand, if the belt is too short, the bag might be way too tight and also uncomfortable to wear. So what is the ideal length? Because you might ask to me, yes, I is how to wear my handbag correctly and how to adjust the strap. The ideal length will be me length just above your hips. It's just perfect if you are wondering how to adjust correctly the bag. The last tip is to wear the bag on the right shoulder. It is important to wear the shoulder bag on the right shoulder. If you are right handed, carry the bag over your left shoulder. And if you are left handed, carry the bag on your right shoulder. This ensures that you can carry the bag easily and you don't have to move uncomfortable to reach your stuff. The next on bag styling rules you should know is to play with texture. I love to play with different texture. Don't forget that of course leather bag are just a basic but there are so many different texture. You can find bag with silk for example, satin or even wool, tweed, denim. There are so many different texture and don't forget to play with that. Don't forget that adding different texture add also interest and friction to your outfit. What I have to do usually when I wear, for example, a full denim look, I love to wear a suede, suede bag. I think it adds something super interesting, a little bit more also casual with the outfit. The next on bag styling rule you should absolutely no and will help you to also style your own bag correctly is to keep it simple. Don't forget that less is more, especially when it comes to own bag. And sometimes wearing like a own bag with too many garments, too many adornments, or even a flashy logo on bag can really make a fashion faux pas. It can also make your outfit less polish, less put together. Don't forget that an handbag is also another accessoire. It's also another way to accessorize your outfit. And the goal of the handbag is not to overshadow your outfit. The goal of the bag is to make your outfit more elevated, more polish. Avoid the flashy logo bold handbag, especially if you love this quite luxury or if you're looking for something a little bit more elevated in your outfit. And personally, I think minimalist, luxury minimalist, when I say luxury minimalist, I don't say that you need to buy a designer on bag, but a luxury minimalist bag is just perfect and will complement, elevate any outfit. When I say luxury minimalist, I don't say a super expensive designer on bag. Luxury minimalist is a style actually. This is the kind of bag that is high quality, high quality, looks expensive and also looks timeless and elegant. This is a luxury minimalist handbag. 
And this is the type of bag you should looking for if you really want to elevate your look. Another on bag styling rule you should know is versatility is key. Think versatile when you choose a new on bag and think also versatile when you style your bag every day. Versatile means to think first, you can wear this bag with different outfit and style, casual, formal, whatever you can also wear during the day, this bag will match every different style. Second, versatility means also ways to style the bag. You can wear the bag crossbody, on the shoulder, by hand, or even as a clutch. And the next on bag styling rule you should absolutely know, and I think this one is also key, is where to put your own bag. Oh my God, I see so many fashion faux pas when it comes to where to put and place your own bag. And the first one you should absolutely avoid. And I see this one very often. I see that when I go to the restaurant or a social event, usually women are very afraid to ask where they should put their own bag and they really put their own bag on the floor. You should never, 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 ever put your own bag on the floor, especially if it is designer, super pricey on bag. Please never do that. Usually in any good restaurant, there is what we call a bag hook, this little accessoire you can put on the bottom side of a table. This is an accessoire is very practical if you're looking to where to put safely your own bag. If there is no bag hook, you can always ask the waiter for a purse hunger, but never put the own bag on the floor. And the last on bag styling rules you should absolutely know is to wear a good quality on bag. You should absolutely wear a good quality on bag, a durable, timeless on bag that will stand the test of time, a bag that you can wear season after season. What is a good quality on bag? Usually a good quality on bag is a bag made with high quality materials, so usually leather, suede. High quality materials, durable also, good finish, so good stitching also it is important. A good quality on bag will stand the test of time. It will also resist any scratches. This is a durable bag that also will be resistant over time. A good quality on bag is also a bag that you can wear on an everyday basis and still looking in a perfect condition. Don't be fooled also by the price and the logo of the bag. Today, there are so many beautiful bags, high quality, that are not pricey. Paying a designer bag with a high price tag doesn't mean that this bag is in good quality. So don't be fooled by the brand, the price, of course. And today, today, there are so many options affordable so high quality bag and an affordable price check also all my video about the best bags to buy today if you love also french on bag don't forget to check all my selection that's it for today about the 10 on bag styling rules you should absolutely know let me know what you think in the comments please let me know if there's any styling rules, on bag styling rules you really apply every day. Is there any also brand you will recommend also if you are looking for the perfect high quality bags? Let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and I see you very soon for another video. Bye.